Hey guys, it's John, and I'd like to demonstrate how I tie the Munter Friction Hitch. The Munter Friction Hitch is a fantastic friction hitch which I use in belay or descent on different rope techniques, including double rope technique and the JRB climbing system. And on Fortunately for us, when we try to learn this uh, online, most of the videos show it oriented in the opposite direction. I am going to show you how to tie it from the perspective of a beaner that's on your bridge or your saddle with a rope that's hanging down, not the opposite. So what, when we're finished with the Munter friction hitch, we always want the descending rope going down to the ground to be aligned with the spine of the beaner, not with the gate of the beaner. And so the way that I create it, I'm right-handed, so I like to operate my beaner this way, right-handed, and clip in, is, and I, I've just gotten to the point now where I, I can tie this in my sleep, but I just take the rope and turn it to the uh, underhand and to the left, okay? Underhand to the left and then fold it over. And then if I put my beaner in there and tighten it, that's that's my Munter friction hitch, and you'll notice how this is descending on the spine of the beaner. If I were to put the beaner in the, the opposite direction, that's no good because now it's on the gate side. And if I would have formed it wrong, I don't even know if I can form it wrong. I've been doing it so long. No, it, it always just comes out the same way. I, I, I'm, pro, I'm programmed. There, I did it backwards. There, I did it backwards. And and, and you'd see that the descending rope is on the gate end, and that would be no good. It would work, however, if you change the orientation of, of the beaner. Um, let, let's, let's do it one more time. It's important that when you put the beaner in, you're always going through two strands of rope. Two strands of rope. And you stop and you examine it. Okay. Now, I'm now going to demonstrate how I would do that with two strands of rope. Because in the JRB climbing method, we're using two strands of rope and everything is exactly the same. I just take the two strands and you can see how the descending part is on the spine end of the beaner. Now, I always use a, a screw gate beaner and I always, always close them, make sure that they're screwed tight. And then the, the last part is then how, how we descend on that. So I'll go back to a single strand just to keep it easy. But the rope has a tendency to spin or turn on the way down. So I'll form my munter and I'll... So let's say I'm descending on that. This is on my bridge or my saddle. I'm descending and if the rope is descending like this, it tends to spin as it goes up through. And that can, that can kind of bind up the rope. Uh, and so what I've learned is that if you, if you take this end of the rope and you fold it up and perhaps a little bit out to the left, you, you'll feel spin as it goes in or out. You can experiment with that position. But what this does is it increases the friction and decreases the spin. And so when I descend, I have a tendency to hold uh, feed slack in from this direction, from out in front of me and to the, to the left or, or upward if I need more friction. Uh, this would be, a, a, you know, if you can hold one hand on the other rope, that's a lot of friction. And this would be less friction, but I can control the amount of friction and just keep the rope in that direction and I won't get any spin. Uh, the munter is a, it, it reorients if you, if you change, if you just take it and it, it flips and turns almost like, like a paintbrush. And I, I find this is a, a handy knot to have in your arsenal for other purposes. Let's just say you had a long length of rope and you needed to get a grip on it. Well, you can just take a munter and then put your hand on here and you can get a really good grip on that rope uh, using the munter. Uh, I've even used it as a poor man's ascender uh, to, to be able to pull on a rope and double rope uh, technique climbing. It's not my favorite though because when you push it back up, uh, you can't, because of this reorientation principle, you can't get quite, quite get all the reach that you want. 
So there you have it, the Munter friction hitch. I'm gonna tie it one more time. I'll do it on two ropes, as per the JRB climbing method. So it's a underhand loop to the left, beaner through, in this case, four strands. Tighten it. When I'm ready to send, I take all the slack out of it that's possible and keep a firm hand on, on the slack and, and feed that in from the left or above. And that'll take care of the turn and down you go. Thank you.